Senator Hutchinson is really unique. I don't know if we will ever see another person in public life quite like her. She is charming, graceful, beautiful, brilliant, and really tireless in pursuit of her goals. She's extremely effective and there's no doubt at all that her advocacy and the resources that she's been able to bring to bear on these programs have made a major difference in what we're able to do. We are really blessed to have had her in the office she now holds. It's been a, a singular honor for me to know this very special person ever since I met her some 20 years ago. And little did I know at the time what an impact she would have on the state of Texas and particularly on science. Each generation needed champions, people who could see a vision of the university as an even greater place than it already was. And for our generation, for the time that I've been here, one of the great champions has been Senator Kay Bailey Hutchinson. There's no question that without the leadership and support that she has provided, the university could not be where it is and that the programs I personally care about the most would not be in the place that they are. She and I were sorority sisters at the University of Texas. Kay was fascinating. Always she was purposeful, always honest, always interested in the University of Texas, in its mission, and she recognizes the very great value that, that research has in that mission. The senator observed many years ago that the key to the uh, economic development of the state of Texas, its reputation in the world, its reputation in the country, was in its peer educational institutions, but particularly in the sciences, and spent most of her time and energy promoting Texas and promoting science in this state. She believed that if we could bring the people to Texas who could make a difference, and in any field of science, the universe of people who are really at the top and who can make a difference is small. And that means that the recruiting efforts have to be very vigorous, and uh, she understood that. Making the case for financial support for research is a very difficult one because most of the people in the world are not science geeks like us, and they have to understand the value of science. And it's not a parochial issue, it's not just a Texas issue, it's not even just the United States issue, it's a worldwide issue. There is a definite difficulty with funding, and it's sort of nationwide, just not enough money. And so, but if you, if you allow new ideas to generate enough financial support to do something, that, that's very, very important. To have people in the political system who appreciate the importance of science for the future is priceless. It's not always about money. I think ideas are more important than money. I think uh, the Senator has seen that very clearly, and I think she's been looking out for the future and welfare of everyone. And her insistence on promoting research and education in mathematics and science, that's leadership. When a really quality project is brought to her attention, she focuses on that. She helped us with this major nanoscience initiative across the whole state. The Wetlands Education Center. The UTeach program. The National Initiative on Multifunctional Materials and Their Applications. A major upgrade of the Hobby Everly Telescope. The first National Estuarine Research Reserve in the western Gulf of Mexico. The Petawatt Laser Facility. Which is unique in the country and probably in the world. She conceived of the idea of TAMIST, the Academy of Medicine, Engineering, and Science of Texas. That was her brainchild so important to the state, bringing more federal dollars. We've made it into an educational resource. It's spread across the country. I think we'll do more to promote opportunities for students than any other single thing I can think of. Capacity to make novel materials which didn't exist before. To discover what the nature of dark energy is. It was an ingenious idea. That is very, very exciting. We are able to take classrooms of kids and they'll take those lessons with them for the rest of their lives. The leaders of science in Texas can annually meet and collaborate on addressing the real problems facing the state in not only areas of science, but K through 12 education. She helped Tamis raise the money to do that study. And she has been at the Tamis meetings every single time. Students who are currently underserved will have great teachers. They will have opportunities to go to colleges that they could not have imagined. And it would not have been possible without the support from the senator. Very, very fortunate to have the senator 
helping us. We wouldn't have that if it weren't for Senator Hutchinson. This is one of the key ways that the United States has responded to the call to increase competitiveness. And Senator Hutchinson's support has been quiet, it has been steady, and it has been extremely substantial. Senator Hutchinson has made a, a huge difference, I think, in the rankings of our universities, the quality of our science programs, that curiosity-based research which leads to real leaps in innovation and discovery. There's almost nowhere else where that's being done now, in our country at least. It's not every university which has that level of uh, scientific equipment which can be shown to them, and so we're just training the next generation of physicists who would make discoveries in the future which will move the GDP forward. If you want people who are going to educate Texas students to be ready for the economy of 2020 or 2050, then you need to have people in the state who are imagining the future now. That future has not been created. That future will be created by researchers. The senator has always understood that getting things done is more important than getting credit. She never seems to be in this game for herself. It's always for what helps Texas, what helps science. I've never seen her change direction or back away from what she thought was the right road. I certainly have no complaints or reservations about the way she's represented the state and the university. I don't think there's going to be anybody else exactly like Senator Hutchison. I'd be very surprised if there was. I don't think the state of Texas can ever find a person who is more absolutely focused on the success of Texas. You can't take that away from her. She's unique. She's a dear person, very valuable to the state of Texas, and very much deserving of this recognition. I just don't know of anyone else in politics or elsewhere who consistently just works for the greater good, always. She's just an extraordinary individual.